The following is made for adults. You've been warned. Hey everybody, it's me, Paul. So this week I've sort of been studying up on ancient Greek stuff, particularly like art and pottery, you know, kind of for shits and giggles. <laughs> I guess that's how shits and giggles work. If you ever hear that when you're walking by my bathroom, you know what's going on there. But in studying this ancient Greek artwork, pottery specifically, you know, I, I've kind of noticed a few things. Uh, is it just me or does it look like this guy's got a boner going on? What about this weird dude with the horns? He's looking down, he's like, oh my god, what's that? Uh, he's like, there's something coming, there's a fleshy thing coming out of my pants. That's what, that's the first thing a woman ever told me in the bedroom. What's that the fleshy thing coming out of your pants? I'm like, this is not going to end well. <laughs> it didn't. Or check out this bowl. Like, that that seems like what you, you'd want. You're like, I got my breakfast cereal bowl. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's some dude, or it's a three-way with the... Uh, a two dudes and a chick. What makes it really hot though is look at the woman's cheeks as she's taking that scrunched up boner in her mouth. It's all like wrinkly. It's like that's what you want when you're having your morning cereal. Oh, I want to watch some dude give, uh, or have grandma give some dude a blowjob. That looks hot. Oh yeah, mm, more cap and crunch for me. And, and this seems to be a reoccurring theme if you've noticed of people giving it to each other and having it on pottery. I don't I don't know why, like this orgy scene. I would like to know, I would love to know how it exactly worked back then. What was the context in which people would use these? Does a mother come up to her daughter and she's like, Honey, we're having the Stephanophilus is over for dinner tonight. Go get her good orgy plates out. I mean, I would, I would love to see that. And it makes me wonder if, because there's lots of nudity in ancient artwork, if like... In a thousand years, are people going to look back and think they're the weird ones, or are we the weird ones? In a thousand years, will it be normal again to have sexually explicit pottery or even Tupperware? Will there be like a block party in a thousand years in the future? Oh, Maggie, that man which was delicious. My boys ate it all up. Do you, do you happen to have any leftover we could take home? But like, oh, of course, Susie, of course. Why don't I put it in my new orgy Tupperware? The great thing, see the guy here, his butthole? It's a spigot. You turn it and the food comes out. It's like you're pooping. You can poop right on little Jimmy's buns. He'll enjoy it. He'll love it. It's fun for the kids. And you can't study ancient Greece without taking a look at the ancient philosophers. So I did a Google search for Heraclitus. And I was amazed. I was expecting this really old dude. And apparently Heraclitus was a really hot porno star type person. I can see why everybody would want to study under her. Mm. Sophist, no baby. I am the hardest. Hardest in my pants for your philosophy. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go philosophize some more.